All right guys, Dave Liao here, and today I'm gonna walk you through transferring your Outlook files from an old computer to a new computer. This walkthrough and tutorial assumes that you do not have Office 365 or any cloud-based features for transferring these files. The first thing we're gonna do is open up our Outlook program. And once you have that open, we're gonna to go to the file menu dropdown in the top left-hand corner of your screen. And that will open up the file tab with all of your functions and features in the left-hand side of your screen. The next step will be to select open and export. So once you click on open and export, you will have four options here. The third option is import export, which is the option that we are going to use. We're gonna click on this and it will open the import and export wizard. In this example, we simply want to export all of our existing Outlook information from this old computer to a file. So we will select the second option, which is export to a file. It will then ask you on the export to a file dialog screen, what type of file or file type you would like to create. We will choose the Outlook data file format, which is .pst, and select Next. Then it will give you a set of options for which Outlook data files you want to export. Then it will give me the option for where I want to save the exported file. There are three options down here for how to handle duplicates. I will create an optional password and it is now exporting my Outlook files. The process of exporting the PST file has concluded. We will browse to the file through Windows Explorer and copy that to a USB drive to transfer to the new computer. Once the export dialog window has closed and the export process is finished, we will now copy our exported PST file from our old computer onto the USB drive that we've connected to our old computer. Outlook file was created on the C drive, users, username, documents, and under documents, we will go to Outlook files. Once you browse to this location, you'll notice that this is where the file has been saved. And now we will copy this PST file onto our USB to transfer to our new computer. Okay, we are now on the new computer. And so the first thing we're gonna do after we've connected our drive is to open up Windows Explorer and to locate the file that we've just copied onto our USB drive. I'm gonna copy this file into the same location that we just copied it from, from our old computer, so that it saves to the same location. So again, we're gonna to go to the C drive. We will go to users, username. Under username, we will go to documents. And under documents, we will go to Outlook files. It'll say that this folder is empty. We will now copy the Outlook file that we just saved on the USB drive onto this new computer. And that looks like we're almost there. And once this step is done, we will launch Outlook on our new computer. And once Outlook is open, we will go to File, Open and Export and select Import Export. Then we will select from the Import and Export Wizard. We will import from another program or file and hit Next. We will select Outlook Data File and hit Next. It's going to ask me for the password that was created when I exported from the old computer, so I will type that in and it should start the import procedures. Once the import process has completed, you will see that all of your email items from the import should appear 
in the Outlook program on your new computer. This includes everything from your email inbox to your calendars. So if you scroll back to some older items, you should see your legacy Outlook appointments appear in the calendar, as well as any legacy contact information that you have in there as well. And this concludes the steps needed to transfer your Outlook files from your old computer to your new computer without using a cloud-based service.